Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how we can add our Logic app under API management. Uh, in the previous video we already created an API management resource and in this video we're going to add our Logic app in that API management uh, resource. I already created a uh, Logic app. Uh, it's a simple Logic app in one step. You can, uh, you can do a post request and it will send an email to an email address. So that's nice. Uh, so first we go to Portal at Azure, and I'm going to go to my RG Car Rental Resource Group, the one I was using also in the previous uh, demo. As you can see, I have a, a Logic app called Send Mail to Customer. We have uh, our Logic App Designer. As you can see, this is our uh, JSON request we are expecting. So we're expecting a subject to send to in a message, and it will send the email to uh, that uh, email address. Uh, well, that's great. So first, we're gonna go to our API management, or yeah, we can also. I think we can also do it from here. Um, I think I saw that option in the past. Maybe from overview. Well, it's going a little bit slow. Well, just go to the API management and keep it simple. Uh, the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> uh, we click on Logic App. We need to browse, we need to check for Logic App. As you see, this, this is the one. It already gets the right display name in the name. That's good. We create it. Oh yeah, we need to have a different uh, API suffix. I'm gonna call it... Um, um, slash contact or something, I don't know. Well, this will be created in a couple of seconds, I hope. As you can see, it already added our new uh, API. And we have one method, that's uh, true, we have only one post method. I'm going to check the settings just to be sure, because in the last demo I had some problems because the web service URL was not filled in, even thought I used, uh, I used uh, the, the form to add the API, but yeah, demos, you know, everything goes wrong during demos. <laughs> um, yeah, now we need to test it. Uh, well, let's start. We have, uh, can do a generate definition. That would be maybe uh, handy. Uh, no. No, 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 because it's also safer definition, I think. We don't need that. Uh, let's sort. We have three properties. We have the uh, send to, I think. I'm going to fill in the same email address I have here. Copy paste it. Great. And we have a subject testing api management great and we have a message we are testing. and then we can try to let's check it out is everything filled in hopefully <laughs> we're gonna try to tested and it got accepted so that's a good thing and if we go back to outlook we can see our email is coming in so when would this be handy to have maybe you have like um like you know in our example car rental we have maybe some of the uh, code behind maybe in a, in, a, in a desktop application or a web a, a web a web app where we want to send an email to the customer we can have that part of the logic be handled by the logic app because logic app uh, to be honest is a great uh, great tool you have lots of options and it connects with different resources um, outlook is just the beginning you have like uh, we can do a quick look of all the possibilities you have uh, let's go to all uh, you see it loads, but you have like, yeah, you can uh, do something with Adobe. I think you have some options with Azure DevOps even. 
Um, what do we have anymore? Uh, more yeah, Azure AD. I don't know. Yeah, maybe there's some use case for you, like so, something like custom made to create uh, an, an Azure AD group. At my company where I work, we have something like that. We have created. They have created a, a task inside Azure DevOps that will create. Uh, that when you run the task, it it creates. Um, when you run the task, it creates an, an Azure AD group. So maybe some use case for that. But lots of handy in in the in the beautiful thing is when you are using uh, API management, you can also be uh, keep ha handling that secure. You can add uh, OAuth two authentication, Azure AD authentication, etc. Uh, then you don't need to handle because it's already handled in the API management. I think it's just one checkbox or two is filling up some data, and then you have API uh, Azure AD configured for your whole API management, also all the APIs. So it's a one time setup, and it's just centralized. So uh, yeah, check it out. The capabilities are uh, big and wide. So that's that. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and watch my upcoming videos and have a nice day.